everyone. Welcome back to Be Creative Stamping. Today I'm going to show you how to make these three adorable jar tags. And we will be using the Jar of Haunts stamp set that's featured in the, um, the 2016 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. We'll also use this from the Holiday Catalog, Ghoulish Grunge. And we're going to use the Everyday Framelits. These are in the 2016-17 Annual Catalog. So the first thing I would like to show you is how to cut your paper. We're going to start with an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of cardstock. And the first thing you're going to do on the 8.5 inch side is to line it up on the 6. So we're going to be cutting this at six inches. And I have my cutting blade at the top. It is the darker blade. So we're going to trim that and put this aside. And then we're going to rotate our cardstock and we are going to cut it at two inches. And we're going to do that for the entire sheet of paper. This is the third one, fourth, fifth, and now remember this piece of paper that we set aside. We're actually gonna also use this piece. So you are going to cut it at six inches, and then you're going to trim it at two inches. All right. And then the next step is to score your paper. And so we're gonna score it along the six inch side. We're gonna go over here to three and we're going to score the sheet of cardstock right in the center. So when it comes out, you've got your little score line. And the, the lighter color blade is the scoring blade on the stamp and trimmer. So you'll want to do that to all of your um, strips. And you do get one, two, three, four, five, six out of one sheet of paper. So you could make up to six tags. We are going to create a jar lid for the top of the jar tag. And so I'm using the archival black because we're going to use some gold shimmer um, with the Wink of Stella brush. We're gonna put a little gold shimmer on when we're done. If we used black memento ink, the water-based ink, um, the Wink of Stella pen, those inks would smear. So you don't wanna use that. You wanna use your black archival ink. And depending on how many tags you make is how many um, lids that you're going to need. So I'm just going to start with that one. And we are going to use this framelit right here to cut out the jar lid. And so what you'll do is you'll take your magnetic platform and a cutting pad, then put this on top of the cutting pad add another cutting pad and you're real ready to roll it through the big shot and cut it out. The very next step is to cut out our jars. And so we're gonna take one of these strips and we're gonna fold it in half. And let's start with the big one here. So this is our largest jar. And um, you may have seen these framelits before. I'm sure you have some. The blade is right here. And that's the part that does the cutting. So when you lay this on top of a sheet of cardstock, it's going to cut. So what you want to do is just slide the top of this jar up. And by the way, this is the folded scored side. You're just going to scoot that jar up just a little bit. And I'm going to flip it over so you can see it. And you'll see that little blade is not touching the cardstock. And so now we're ready to, to roll this through the big shot. Now this paper does love to pop up on you because it opens up. So you'll definitely have to watch for that, that it doesn't slip on your magnetic platform. Now once you roll this through, you're going to get a tag just like this. 
And you get that because the blade was not touching that cardstock. And so we'll also do the medium sized jar and I'll just show you again. I'm gonna fold my score line and then I'm gonna take that medium jar and I'm going to do the very same thing. And when I roll this one through, this is going to be my tag. And we also have the little one, so we'll do the same. We'll fold on the score line. Let me get the smallest jar. And I'm just gonna scoot this up here at the top so that we have a little bit of space. See where that blade is? Now that is ready to roll through. And so when you do that, then you've got your smallest jar tag. Now one more hint. You can also um, cut your tag from the side. And what I mean by that is here's a tag that opens left to right. And so to do that, you're going to take your jar, and it doesn't matter which size jar you're using, and you're going to, again, lay this on the fold line, make sure that framelit, that blade, is not touching the cardstock. You'll roll that through the big shot, and then you'll have a tag that opens like this. So that's three different tags for you. So I thought I would um, stamp the tags really quick so you can see how cute they are. For our smallest jar, we're going to use the um, Brick um, Ghoulish Grunge. And so I'm gonna ink that up in um, uh, pumpkin pie. And then I am just gonna stamp on here. As you can see, let's see, there we go. That's for the, um, the smallest jar. And now we're gonna use some eyes here, which really remind me of the Grinch. All right. Now for the medium size tag, we're actually going to use some of the netting. All right. And then we'll use um, the Happy Halloween on top. Okay. And then for our largest jar, we're going to use the netting. And you really don't have to line these up. So it's really kind of nice. I mean, certainly something like that looks wicked and perfect for Halloween. And then we're gonna put some words on it right along here, okay? Now to finish it up, we are going to add the jar lid. And what you're probably going to want to do is to take your lid and we'll use the gold shimmer, wink of Stella brush, and we are just going to glitterize this. It makes it kind of shiny and glittery. And we do want this to dry for just a few minutes, okay? So we're gonna scoot it aside and let it dry. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and cut our baker's twine. This is also um, part of the 2006 holiday catalog, okay? So you definitely want to take a look at that, and I'll put a supply list under the video, all right? So we're just about ready to glue the lid. And right now I can't find my glue stick, so we'll pretend that I did that. And you're gonna take your snail, and you're going to attach it right here at the top, okay? Now when you go to add your twine, all you're going to do is lift up, wrap your twine around the top part, and then you're going to just tie this in a bow, all right? And I'm out of tassels, but if I had some, I would definitely add this little tassel to go with it. And by the way, these two twines, you can they are bundled together, and you get 25 yards of each color. 
and so they come in the same package. So now you know how to make tags using framelits. These will work with any size and shape of the framelits that you probably already have. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks so much for buzzing by.